Hey y'all, it's me, Shaman Persephone, here with the video for my very first book of hashtag my year of reading women. And for the first book I chose, ba -ba -dum, Kathy Acker's Pussy, King of the Pirates. Um, I first saw this book when I was on a date a couple of years ago. Um, we ended up at a bookstore because that's where two nerds end up on a Saturday night. And this book was displayed in the feminist section, and I saw the title and the cover, and I was like, that looks like a book I want to read. Um, so I put it on my list, and I didn't actually purchase it that night. I purchased it a couple years later from Amazon. Don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, I purchased it from Amazon, but since then I have um, converted to a local bookstore uh, consumer. Um, and I try not to buy on Amazon as much, and I encourage you to do the same. But anyway, um, I thought it would be a good choice as my first book for my year of reading women, because um, it is sort of a feminist classic. Um, Kathy Acker is known for her feminist writing. She was sort of a, um, a radical feminist, sort of in the 80s and 90s when... Feminism was all about riot girls and shaving your head and being gross and that sort of thing. And that is really reflected in this book, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but she she passed away in the late 90s when she was 50 years old. Um, and she did identify as bisexual, even though she was mainly just married to men. Um But I was kind of disappointed in this book, to be perfectly honest. I thought it was going to be all about girl power and riot girls, and it was actually not. Um, it is loosely based on Treasure Island, um, but it's written in this sort of bizarre, abstract, stream of consciousness type style. Which I appreciate in theory, but when it comes down to it, I really just would have preferred a straightforward narrative. Um, it really, you know how, like, when you're dreaming and you go from one thing to another with no transition, but somehow it makes sense in your dream? Um, the way this book is written kind of reminded me of that. It just... It just went from one thing to another and um, didn't totally make sense. You know, maybe my level of com uh, comprehension isn't where I thought it was, and this book just completely went over my head, but um, I don't know. I just didn't get it. It was, it seemed shocking and gross for no reason, um, which is a bummer because I was really excited about it. Um, it does have this cool cover. It's cool um, and bright pink and illustrated on the inside. So it's it just seemed like a book that was right up my alley, and then it just wasn't. Um, I did get some comments on Instagram from people who read it back when it first came out in the 90s um, who really liked it. I think it came out in the 90s. Maybe it was the 80s. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it was the 90s. Yeah, 96. Um, and I, I think it just was a, it was a product of its time and it didn't really stand the test of time almost 30 years later. Um, it just really doesn't speak to the type of feminism that I think is going on right now. Um, but I would still encourage you to read it just to experience it for yourself and make your own opinion about it. Um, especially if you aren't into feminism and into um, like 90s feminism, riot girls doing gross stuff, um, then it might be, might be the book for you, but it just wasn't for me. Um, so it was a disappointment for my first book of my year of reading women. The good news is I have read more since then and every book I've read since this one has been spectacular, so the disappointment didn't last very long. Um, but yeah, read it if you want to. If not, you're not missing much. 
Um, and I will be back in a bit with another video. Bye.